European people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala standing, sitting and lying down. The muttaqeen, the people who are connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the people who recognize their Rabb, the people who revel in the fact that they worship only their Rabb, the people who, conscious, who are conscious of their Rabb 24 hours of the day, who worship their Rabb as if they are seeing him, and though they do not see him, they know that their Rabb sees them, because their Nabi said to them when he was asked, أَخْبِرْنِ عَنِ الْإِحْسَانِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن تعبد الله كأنك ترى فإن لم تكن ترى فإنه يرى من جبريل عسيم عليه السلام in the famous hadith جبريل يا رسول الله explain to me and tell me what is الإحسان and our نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم said to worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى as if you can see him and if you cannot see him to know that he is seeing you First sign of intelligence is to recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah said, Wa yatafakkaroon. He did not say, Aw yatafakkaroon. He did not create two groups, one who recognize Allah and one who recognize only the creation. The one who recognizes the creation does not understand the creator. The one who understands the creator does not know about the creation. This is our creation. This is not what Allah told us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa yatafakkaroon. The people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned as intelligent are the people who recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then they make quicker and research and they search and they do scientific discovery and they look into the universe. Everything khalq is samawati wal Into the inside of a person, into the outside of a person, into the atmosphere, into society, into nature, into the entire universe. And what happens when we have this beautiful combination of people who understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then who look at these birds and who look at these beasts and who look at the planets and who look at the grains of sand on the, uh, on the beach. What happens to them? They say, Rabbana ma talaqta hadha batila subhanak. Oh, our Rabb, you have not created this in vain. You created this for a purpose. Subhanaka faqina adhaban nar. All glory and majesty to you, save us from the hellfire. The people who are connected with Allah. Who are the people who are connected with Allah, my brothers? There was a man who was connected with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who told his people, Ashadu Allah, ilaha illallah. And he told his people, do not worship these idols which you make with your own hands. And this man, because of this da'wah that he gave, they decided to burn him alive. So they lighted a fire, a huge, huge, huge fire. The fire was so big that even they could not go near the fire to throw the man into the fire. So what do they do? They put him in a catapult, a war catapult. They load the catapult and they put him as the missile in the catapult. And now they are going to throw him into the, into the fire by means of this machine. You know the man I'm talking about, yeah? And as they are going to cut the, the rope of this machine, what happens? His rub on whom he made tawakkul. Does he send down the rain? He could have sent down the rain. He could have ordered Mikael alayhi salam, blow out this fire. It's gone. What is this world and what is the size of this world to the malaika? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Jibreel is so big that if you take all the waters of all the seven oceans and put it on his head, not a single drop will fall. Very easy to imagine. Very easy to imagine. Take a tablespoon of water. When you go home, take a tablespoon of water. Catch an ant and drop it in the tablespoon of water. And then of course, please take it out before it dies, the poor thing. I mean, I'm not asking you to commit murder of the ant. Just as an example to, for you to illustrate. What will happen to the ant? For the ant, that tablespoon of water, what is it? Is it, is it a tablespoon of water? For the ant, it's, you just dropped him into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I mean, you know. <laughs> and take the, the same tablespoon of, of water after you have removed the ant from it and saved the ant. 
take the taste, take the same tablespoon of water and put it on top of your head and believe me not, not even a drop will fall off your head yes so to imagine that jibril alayhi salam one one uh, uh, angel of allah is so big that you put but if all what we call an ocean is a teaspoon of water as far as jibril is concerned rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam when he went in miraj among the hadith of miraj he said i saw the hamali the arsh he said i saw the malaika which are holding up the arsh and he said that that angel there are four of them and on the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will create another four but which he told us in the quran he said there are eight on the day of judgment there will be eight he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam that that angel is so huge that if a bird flies takes off from the shoulder of the angel it will fly for 500 years before it reaches the ear lobe of the angel this distance from here to here will take that bird flying fast 500 years of continuous flight this is allah ibn al qayyim al jauzi rahimahu allah taala said when allah subhanahu wa taala said wama khalaqtul jinna wal insa illa liya'budun he said illa liya'budun wa illa liya'rufun he said allah subhanahu wa taala created the human being and the jinn to make ubudiya to to worship allah and to understand allah subhanahu wa taala and they asked him how do you have irfan of allah how do you understand allah he said by reading his two books he said what two books he said one is the quran and the other one is the kainat he said one is the open book of allah the universe because allah said iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq he said read in the name of the one who created everything read what when this ayah was revealed when iqra was revealed what was there to read nothing because that is the first word which was revealed ibn al qayyim said it means read the book of allah which is the universe sanurihim min ayatina fil afaq wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al haqq allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said verily we will show them our signs in the afaq in in around them in the creation and within themselves of the anfusin hatta yatabayyana lahum until it becomes clear to them annahu al haqq that this book is true that this quran is haqq so who had allah this man who was sitting in that machine about to be thrown into the hell fire into the fire then what happened Did Allah send Mikail and say put out the fire? Did Allah say did Allah send Jibril and said as Ibrahim alayhi salam is flying through the air just take him away from there just like that like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lifted up Isa alayhi salam lift up Ibrahim alayhi salam Did Allah do that? No. What did Allah do? Allah told us what he did. Allah said qulna said we said Ya nar o oh fire kuni bardan wa salaman ala ibrahim The one who's connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly commanded the fire Allah did not send an angel to command the fire Allah directly spoke to the fire Qulna ya nar kuni bardan Allah could have could have stopped there oh fire become cold the fire could have gone down to minus 100 degrees celsius or minus 10000 degrees celsius allah alam and ibrahim alayhi salam could have died out of cold but the hukum of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always complete qulna ya naru kuni bardan wa salaman ala ibrahim become a thing of safety my brothers the ones who are connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no that there is no power in anything in this world it is not the power of the fire which burns it is the hukum of your rab and my rab which allows the fire to burn and when the hukum of your rab and my rab is to the fire to say become a thing of safety the same fire this is the shaan the kibriyai of our rab jalla jalalu Rabbi lakal hamdu kama yanbaghi li jalali wajhika wa azim sultanik Rejoice and revel that you do not worship sticks and stones 
rejoice and revel in the fact that you that you make sujood only and only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the shine and the power and the kibriya of our Rabb that he does not need to send something to protect Ibrahim from the fire. He makes the fire a thing of protection. Ajeeb, eh? Ajeeb. He does not need to send something else to save Ibrahim alayhi salam from the fire. He makes the fire itself a source of protection for Ibrahim alayhi salam. Those who have Allah, alayhi sallahu bi kafin abda, is Allah not sufficient for his faith? Who else had Allah? The child about which the magicians and the and the fortune tellers of Fir'aun told him that a child is going to be born among the Bani Israel who will destroy you and your kingdom. Imagine the power of that king. I don't know how many of you have been to Egypt, but if you go to Egypt, go and see the pyramids. Don't go and see the pyramids like the tourists go with your mouth open. No. Go and see with the eyes of Ibrat. You go to the, see the pyramids, the biggest of them is called the Pyramid of Cheops. It's called the Great Pyramid. That is one of two structures which is visible from outer space. The second structure is the Great Wall of China. It's visible from outer space. It is so big. I cannot describe for you how big it is. It's like a mountain. Now imagine the wealth and the power of the king and the dynasty which could build a tomb of that size. What must their palaces have been like? What must their armies have been like? What must that civilization have been like? A civilization which built something like the great pyramid of Cheops. And the head of that civilization, the king of that civilization, was the Firaun Ramesses the fourth. They said to him, that a child is going to be born among the Bani Israel who are your slaves, who will destroy you. So what does that king do? The power, the, the peak of arrogance, because he claimed to be God. He says, matter is very simple, just slaughter all their boys. Can you even imagine today, no matter how powerful any country can be, can you imagine any president or king giving that order in today's world? Can they even do it? He gave the order. He gave the order. He said, just, what did, what did they used to do the moment they got news? They had spies everywhere. The moment they got news that some a boy was born in a house, the soldiers would come, they would take the child, newborn baby from the mother, they would slit its throat and they would give back the body to the mother. Imagine what was the state of the Bani Israel there. They had to live under such circumstances. So now, it is the Mashiach of your Rabb and my Rabb that this child which was to be born and whose destiny was to destroy the empire of Firaun had to be saved. Now what would you or I do if we were put in charge of protection of this child? You would hide the child, you would take the child away somewhere, you would take the child out of the control of Firaun, yes? What does Allah do? Wow, Haina ila ummi Musa. Allah SWT has said, we said to the mother of, of Musa, put him in a box and put him into the Nile. The Nile is a huge, huge, huge river. Many miles wide. And among other things, it is known for the crocodiles in it. The Nile crocodile is, a, is one of the biggest crocodiles in the world. And what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying? Put your child into a box, in a wooden box, and throw it into the Nile. This is the shan of our Rabb. Subhanallah. Why are these stories in the Quran, my brothers? Think about this. Allah has nothing better to do, better to do than to tell us stories. This is for entertainment. Or is it for Ibrat? Is it to tell us that, subhanallah, this is your Rabb, so what on earth are you afraid of? Why is there fear in your heart? Why are you worried about yourself? Why are you worried about your life? Why are you worried about, about this stupid belly of yours, whether it will be filled or not? 
Why are you worried about your children and about this and that? Worry about only one thing which is to connect with your Rabb.